Okay, here's an improper integral from 1 to infinity, x e to the negative x squared dx. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to think about that as being the limit as b goes to infinity of the integral from 1 to b, x e to the negative x squared dx. Now, of course, this has some sort of a finite answer. And uh, I notice that I have e to, to some other function, and the derivative of this function is, say, negative 2x dx, and I've got an x down here, so this is a good hint that I'm going to use a u substitution. u equals negative x squared, and that makes du equal negative 2x dx. Uh, so I suppose uh, there's two schools of thought here. I can put my 2 and my 1 half in there, or I'll just write this as uh, du over negative 2 x dx. Okay, so I've got the limit as b goes to infinity of the integral from x equals 1 to x equals b of, let's see, um, x dx is equal to du, and then over negative 2, where I could put a negative 1 half out in front, and then this is e to the u, so the limit as b goes to infinity, of course integrating over a negative 1 half times something, pull the negative 1 half out, the integral of e to the u, is e to the u, not shockingly. I'll take the liberty of, instead of writing e to the u, writing e to the negative x squared, which is really the same thing. That means I can evaluate from x equals 1 to x equals b. Notice when I have this variable as something other than x, I'm going to clarify that my integral is from x equals 1 to x equals b. Now that my variable is x and I'm integrating from 1 to b in terms of x. I don't have to write a substitution there. I don't have to write a specific variable there. Implementing my limit is the absolute last thing that I do. First I'm going to implement that right there. 1 half. Now notice a negative exponent means it's in the denominator. So we get e to the b squared minus negative 1 half. Uh, e to the negative 1 in the numerator, which is e to the 1. So, this is a number, right? What happens as e to the b squared, uh, what happens to e to the b squared as b goes to infinity? Well, the denominator goes to infinity, so this is 0 plus 1 over 2e which is 1 over 2e, and clearly the integral converges.